3D Sloths Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you my sloth nail which is for my um, Earth Day nail art series. So I hope you like this design and check out the rest of the designs in this series. And also don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So I'm going to create a green gradient for the background and so I'm going to start with a really bright shade of green acrylic at the cuticle and I'm going to um, brush that down and then add some darker green at the tip and brush that up and I like to do it in three sets of beads so I'm going to do light green, dark green, and then one more light green bead in the center just to really create a, a bunch of different shades of green and a nice smooth gradient. So now I'm going to be encasing that um, green acrylic with a layer of some clear just give it a little bit more strength and also that's going to protect the color so you don't file through it. And so yeah. So after that, I'm going to be filing that with a 180 grit file. And you want to keep this nail thin because we're going to be adding so much 3D art on top of it. That's going to add some thickness and some strength as well. And so I just want to make sure that this stays nice and smooth when I file it. And then I'm going to buff it with a 240 grit padded buffer to remove any scratches that that other file may have left behind. And once I'm through with that, I'm going to apply a layer of gel sealer and cure. Gel sealer is going to make adding your 3D art a little bit easier at least when it's something like this. There's always circumstances. So now I'm going to be making the trunk for the tree that my sloth is holding onto. So I'm going to be just making one side of this nail brown and so I'm going to really want to keep it thin at the side but add a, like a little lip when it gets towards the center of the nail just like so. So I really want it thin at the side so it doesn't get too thick there because thick side walls is it's never good. So just keep that nice and thin and press it down. And this doesn't have to be smooth. In fact, if it has a little bit of a rough texture, that's going to make it look more tree-like. So it works out well. So now, using a color that I have dubbed Sloth Beige, I am going to be sculpting my sloth. I mixed this color and so I named it. It's a, it's a whole story. But anyways, so I'm going to be sculpting my sloth mom first. So I'm going to start with her body shape, which is kind of like a... Um, a bowling pin. There we go. Sort of like a bowling pin. So she's got this head and then she rounds out at the bottom. And then I'm going to sculpt her arm coming down and it's hanging onto the tree. So this, the color that the sloths are, you can use a couple different colors. You can, there's variations. And so you want it to be sort of a yellowy beige, but you can also put in a little bit of green in there because they do have moss that grows on them. So if you want them to be a little bit green, go for it. Um, but you know, just a beige color is what you're wanting. And so I'm gonna thicken up her arm all the way through up to her shoulder and then also adding a little bit more thickness to her face. And now I'm going to be adding her hind leg. And her hind leg is a little bit shorter than her front arm. So it doesn't go around the tree quite as far. And so now I'm gonna be sculpting the baby which is holding onto her stomach and sort of resting on that lower leg. And so she's got essentially the same shape, but she's just a little bit shorter and a little more round in general. So she's not as long. And then I'm gonna add her arms that are holding onto mom's tummy, just like mom's arms are hanging onto the tree. A little more thickness to her face. So now with a lighter shade of acrylic, I'm going to be sculpting out her toenails. So she's got three toenails. She's a three-toed sloth, so that works out. Um, so just three toenails off the end of each of those arms hanging onto that tree. And since my sloth is so light in color, the acrylic I'm using for her toenails is just plain white. Um, white acrylic isn't as white as white paint is, and so even though I'm using white, it's not as bright and intense as it could be. So then I'm going to add sort of a crescent or, a, well it's not really crescent, but an oval shape for their faces with white acrylic. And like I said, it's not actually in very intense bright white, but just a lighter shade since the beige that I used was so pale. White was the best color available to me. And then I'm going to thicken up their foreheads just a pinch. And now with brown acrylic, I'm going to be adding their noses. 
and this is the smallest bead of acrylic you can possibly grab. And now I'm going to switch to paint and I'm going to be painting on their eyes and also their little smiles. And then just defining some areas, so I'm going to outline the bottoms of their arms. and highlight their toenails. Add blacks in their eyes and then cover up all of your 3D art with a layer of matte top coat to protect that acrylic paint. And this is it. So I hope you check out the rest of the tutorials in this series and share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye!